I'm not no sound engineer. What did, what did you think this was? I thought wanna, this was a show about comedy, not how well I can produce sound and shit my pants. That's what you're one doing. You know what how I am with computers? It's not going to go over well. Put your dick on the computer and we'll see. I would. Do it. I pee on it. Pee on and it. It would die. Just like sexual that tensions sting- are high in <laughs> <at> the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that damn stinging nettle I've been pissing on in your yard for the last three weeks. It's dead. I feel sorry for the frog you pissed on. <laughs> the frog was having a rough day, too. A question. What stung more, the piss or the nettle? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pipe cleaner. It's, it's not an STD. It's a stinging nettle. <laughs> Stumpy Show. Today we got a special guest. We have the infamous Pikachu from our story of um, what was the what was the name of that show? Uh, uh, Prank Windows Anchors Windows. Part, part One. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have Pikachu here today in the studio to tell us about how he got the name Pikachu. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the fuck was that? He's got the pea needles. <laughs> <laughs> <I can't>, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, story time. I was hanging out with Rant and Stumpy one day. Oh, that was um, a damn mistake. That was a big <laughs> fucking mistake. I think the day I decided to play Grand Theft Auto with y'all was a big fucking mistake, right? Well, that anyway, was life-altering, that, but in a good That way. changed everything, though. That, that changed the whole relationship from just casual knowing these guys <laughs> to, hey, I'm going to hang out and play games with them. Yeah, at some point, you got to look it back in your life and decide that you've become an accessory. So. <laughs> the best part of that was the fact that everyone else was terrified of you, but I was like, eh, not not nearly as scared as I should be. <laughs> well, you just <laughs> lack self-preservation instincts. That, that's what that was. <laughs> that's my autism speaking. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, back on track. So I was hanging out with Rant and Stumpy, and we were planning on going to an anime convention because they're actually a secret bunch of weebs. Um, <laughs> and... We were stump. Rants definitely won. I'm a weeb. You yeah. were there too. Like yeah, 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 yeah. that was his first was, one. I was there by proxy. Oh, yeah. so so we so we broke his virginity, right? Is it, is it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, we have a show that we haven't released yet called The First Fur. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I have no one to know. No one to know. Behind the scenes special. Um, but what? what hold, I'm going to interrupt you real quick. Um. One thing that he's not telling you about he's is... a shitty host, man. I am a yeah, shitty yeah, host. I Fuck, I lost my show! <laughs> ah! I don't know. <laughs> is whenever he first played Grand Theft Auto with us, that created the Alcruda group. Yeah, and, yeah, they did start all that. <laughs> they started Alcruda, the group that Aloha we had on Aloha Snack GTA. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was our motto. Yeah. Aloha Snack Bar. Yeah. <laughs> so... It, it, there's stories that's actually led up to this point of where he's talking about where we went to the anime convention. So, continue. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, we were, I was hanging out, uh, I was with uh, with a relative of uh, Rance, and uh, <laughs> um, they were on... We keep it in the family here. <sighs> Amazing. We were, uh, he was browsing Amazon, at least from what I remember, and we come across, like, a Pikachu onesie, and I was like, man, I, I need a costume, uh, I bet you won't buy that for me, and Rant just turns around, his eyes the size of dinner plates, and goes, bet I won't, and I went, yeah, bet you won't, and then I watched him take out his debit card, he punched in the information, and two weeks later, I was the proud owner of a Pikachu onesie. On the spot. Yeah. Just eye contact the whole time. Yeah. Don't, don't tell me I'm not going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me how to live my life. I believe that was the day you bought my dignity. At the <laughs> <laughs> Since you're drinking a beer, can I have your car keys? You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh. so, yeah. yeah so, so, so it was it was one of those things where he pretty much just called you out and was like, yeah, you won't do this. Yeah, call me out, and I'm gonna stare you down while I just say, you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna do it anyway, just <laughs> just to spite you. Oh, I, yeah. It was pretty much a win-win anyway, because I got you to spend money on me for something completely pointless, and I got free clothes that I still use today. Well, I, have you seen what we do, me and Stumpy? 
I we mean, spend you, money on useless bullshit God, yes. just for the fun. There are plenty of other useless bullshit items you could have bought that day to be <laughs> equally as embarrassing, if not more. But you chose a Pikachu onesie because I tried to call you out. It just seemed fitting. Just think about you. You have to say you've listened to all the episodes so far, right? Yes. Okay, so you've heard the episode of me going into an adult store buying a dick for this asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, so, yeah. I have no dignity, so I'm not above not, you know, spending money on stupid shit. I mean, fair, <laughs> sure. You should have thought this through. <laughs> you, you, I, well, I mean, it, it was But you knew us. You knew us at that you point. You knew us. Like, yeah, you, well, okay, so I knew y'all, right? But at the same time, it's like when you get into a new, like, uh, friendship, relationship, whatever, you always got to, like, test the boundaries. How far <laughs> are you willing to go to prove yourself right or wrong to somebody? Well, yeah. that's, that's a good point. So have you got any other uses out of the Pikachu onesie besides the anime convention? Because the anime convention, that was, was the, what, the one that was in San Antonio that yeah. we went to? Yeah, it was San Diego. And it was hot <clears throat> as fuck. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what else was hot as fuck? The Pepper Palace. Fuck that Oh, place. God, I forgot oh, he did that. yeah. That's a, you know what? You gotta, that was on the river Yeah, wall. no, you mm-hmm. got to tell that story for sure. That was a, that was a good one. <clears throat> All right, so we, we went down uh, the river walk and went to the San Antonio Riverwalk Mall. And um, is it the Sky Mall? I have no idea what it's, what it's I don't know what it's called. Yeah, Riverwalk, it's Riverwalk Mall. Mall. All, right. All right, cool. I'm not good with geography. I wasn't very good in high school. Anyway, um... <laughs> So we're in the River Rock Mall, and we come across this place called the Pepper Palace, where they're doing what they call the Flashbang Hot Sauce Challenge. Um, and, again, testing my limits to see how far I could go getting money off the <laughs> uh, I looked at Rant Stumpy and Rant's wife. Um, we can talk about your wife, right? Like, that's... Yeah, um, just no names. Of course. Okay. But, so, I looked at each of them and said, if you give me a dollar, I will put myself through this challenge. And each of them was like, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Just, but they would only give me the dollar if I successfully completed the challenge. So we walk up. To See, this we p- have standards that we still have to well, We're just shrewd at. negotiators is what it is. <laughs> always, always need guidelines. Uh, but we walk into the Pepper Palace. And we're greeted by this dude who's rocking a uh, fucking man bun ponytail. <laughs> he looks like some <laughs> Samoan hipster. I have absolutely. Samoan no- hipster. I that's the nicest way I could I could name it. I don't so know. So it's like Maui, but he likes ska. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty accurate, yeah. Absolutely. Especially with the hat they made me wear afterwards. Like, yeah. Uh. Um so anyway. So in order to partake in this challenge, what he does is he has me sign a waiver saying that I am knowingly putting myself in harm's way. There is no shit. And the yeah. only reason that they had this waiver is because someone bought the hot sauce and had a seizure as a result of taking this hot sauce. Now, it wasn't specifically because of the hot sauce. It was because they had a tumor in their brain, and it was so hot <laughs> that... It's not a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> that their brain essentially short-circuited, and they ended up having a seizure, and that's how they found out that they had the tumor. So it technically saved their life. No joke. Um, Just so you know, any of these pepper challenges you come across may save your life one day. <laughs> so have that... Life's rich tapestry of uh, opportunity. <laughs> what are you even saying? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, being a cunt. <laughs> words, words, words. Words, words, words. I like uh, the dance, Mike. <laughs> but yeah, so after that, the dude puts on a pair of like surgical gloves, takes out a <laughs> like an ammunition box. And yeah. ammunition tells him to bend right? over. Yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> only in your dreams, man. <laughs> this shit uh, li- literally came in an ammo can, though. It did. Like, that had bad news written all over it. And at that point, he's like, man, we're definitely getting our money worth <laughs> on this <laughs> shit. Dollar we? well spent. <laughs> I'll spend a dollar like that any day. <laughs> and so the first thing he does is he takes this, like, spoon of this, like, um, spicy horseradish. And I asked him what it was for, and he went, oh, to clear out your sinuses, because you need to feel this full effect. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that certainly God. did the fucking job. Uh, I could smell everything. <laughs> everything. It's like a superpower, briefly. <laughs> <laughs> I could smell it all. <laughs> I don't know if I want that superpower. I would not either. Man, you know the nasty stink that you'd smell walking around people? Ugh, golly. Oh, God. Um, but so that cleared my sinuses and then he takes out this tiny spoon, probably like the size of like my pinky nail, right? Yeah. Takes out this canister that's in the shape of a flashbang. <laughs> no joke. 
and then puts the, tight the, the tiniest cool. drop of this hot sauce on the spoon. And at this point, I've probably drawn a crowd of maybe like four or five different people because yeah, yeah. they were just seeing there what was, was going lot. on. Well, uh, there got to be a lot. Got later. to be a lot. Yeah. And uh, so <clears throat> I did it. Took the took the hot sauce. You know, no biggie for the first thirty seconds. It's totally fine. Um, but what they didn't tell me about this challenge was that it was essentially like a delay. And as time progressed, it started getting hotter <laughs> and hotter <laughs> and hotter. And I think about the time that we drew, uh, drew like, what, 20, 25 people, something like that? It was yeah, a huge yeah, crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a, he had a little uh, crowd going for sure. It was at that point he to was where... sweating. Yeah. Rant <laughs> said, hey... Pikachu, how's that uh, hot sauce, buddy? And I just looked at him and shook my head Dude, because it was if I sucking. opened if I opened my mouth, I would have screamed. <laughs> I would have completely caved right there. And, and part of this challenge was you can't have water or milk or Nothing. anything. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's ten minutes of pure agony. And I think like the <laughs> the Scoville units on it was like three and a half million, something like that. It yeah. was pretty up there. Yeah, it was, I think it was over three million. The hottest sauce I've ever eaten. It's in my over life. nine thousand. Ah, thanks. <laughs> um, Appreciate and that, so Vegeta. Ten, You're welcome. <laughs> ten minutes passed by, and that was actually Nappa, not Vegeta. Who said oh, that. get bent! <laughs> and you call? You had the nerve to refer to me as a weeb. <laughs> Uh, I'm cultured, and you are not, so oh, I don't really know what you're talking about. Oh. Uh, but anyway, so ten minutes go by, and the challenge is Attack over. Attack the leprechauns. I get my picture put up on the Pepper Palace in the San Antonio Riverwalk Mall with this, like, f- fucking Cubano pepper hat with a Rastafarian yeah. thing on top of it. So, so the pictures of the Pepper Palace and Chuck E. Cheese, so... Good job. Oh, God. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, after that's over, it's fine. Rant hands me my dollar. Rant's wife hands me a dollar. And, but Stumpy doesn't. Stumpy just kind of holds out for a little bit. <laughs> and so, we make it down the escalator the in the Riverwalk asshole. Mall. At this point, I didn't care because I just I had survived, right? Like, it was fine. Everything was dandy. And he got $2. That was not the worst part of the challenge. What happened afterwards was it started hurting so bad that I could not move after we got down the escalators. I was afraid that I would just straight up up chuck in the river walk. <laughs> so Rant and his wife go to the Ben and Jerry's because by winning I got a 10% off Ben and Jerry's yeah, discount. Yeah, 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 some little coupon. Um, and so they went to go to the Ben and Jerry's to go vouch for me so they could get the ice cream and I could be fine. So Sumpy sits by me the whole time just fucking patting my back as I'm dry heaving in a trash can in front of thousands of people in the San Antonio Riverwalk Mall. I'm not really just a caring person like that. (laughs) And that was the thing. The funny thing about that was in my head thinking, huh, I wonder what people are thinking seeing this kid with a beard dry heaving into a trash can with a dude with a prosthetic leg on his right <laughs> just patting his back ever so slowly it's like, uh, that's one of those things you just don't want to question <laughs> like, scary questions often have scary answers hey, you want me to wipe of... your mouth with that dollar <laughs> <laughs> not to mention you were holding money in one hand too <laughs> <That's your toss. laughs> so, so this was a very awkward situation <laughs> but the best part of that um because I did something that neither Rant nor Stumpy would do, Stumpy decided to bless me with a crisp $5 bill. I did, I did. It was, and you know what? That made it worth it. Like, <laughs> fuck the ice cream, <laughs> fuck the $3 that I was supposedly going to get. Your kindness in seeing me suffer yeah, yeah. and handing me a $5 <laughs> bill. I think for, and I quote, for some quality entertainment that day. <laughs> We are we are not above spending money on stupid shit as long as it makes us laugh. We'll we'll put money on it. Oh yeah, yeah. every time. But, but I, I couldn't have done the challenge. It would have fucking killed me. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah me too. I'd have, I'd have been literally sucking too. Hell with that. But yeah, I think part of me took a little bit of perverse joy in throwing you off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> literally, just you know, I'm just gonna be nice this time. I'm I'm, I'm always setting it up though. You know? <laughs> don't don't think I'm all truest or anything over here. Well, I mean, at the same time, I'm like a glutton for punishment. There's a part of me that knows that I'm a mixture between a sadist and a masochist. So I enjoy <laughs> causing myself pain and then watching others get pleasure from that. In the sense of like, not in the sexual sense, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but <Wolf>. like, <laughs> 
but in the sense of like just flat out entertainment, like a laugh is totally worth it to me. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah, for sure. So you're a whore for laughs. I'm a theater major. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, yes. Okay, so you're just like the rest of Hollywood. Maybe. Yeah. So I don't. I don't have a drug addiction, so that's a that's a good thing. Give it time. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. It's coming. <laughs> So any other times after our trip to San Antonio that you wore the uh, Pikachu onesie that kind of stands out to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you know what we're hinting at here. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Here, dude. Uh, my, I'm going to stab you. Will you stop sticking your key in that hole? Uh, no. That's my fucking work here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yes, there was. So I, I went to, to school in this area for, for like a year or so. And I decided to fuck around and retake a sociology class. And so in this sociology class, our teacher assigned a midterm that was essentially go out and talk about uh, taboos, right? Like, there's social mores. So there's taboo, and then there's a more. And more would be like, I don't know, flicking Stumpy in the nose or something like that. Not necessarily illegal, but enough to make him angry, right? Generally a dick move. Essentially, yeah. That's what a more really is, is essentially Ow. a dick move. Fucker. <laughs> like, like that dick move. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. So, you dick. What I decided to do was I was lazy. So I went uh, running errands with my dad and I decided to wear this Pikachu onesie uh, as a grown ass man. In public. Sp- sporting a full beard. Uh, we In public. We went to Sam's Club, I believe. And, uh, and then we went to this place called Harbor Freight Tool Store. And this is where shit gets real. Uh, <laughs> Anytime you hear that, you know it's going to be good. So we'll walk in, and I always have this conflicted feeling about the place because it had the best reaction and the worst reaction by <laughs> yeah, far. No middle ground whatsoever either. Just So I'm going to start off with the good news and then lead into the bad. But there was this kid about like maybe five or six shopping with his mom, and all of a sudden she, he's like tugging on his mom's sleeve going, Mommy, Mommy, look, Pikachu! <laughs> And, it, you know, always just that, that wholesome material. Oh, yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. No, it was totally sure. fine. And in my head, I'm thinking, this was totally worth the potential embarrassment. You probably 100%. made that kid's day. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so this is where it all goes to fuck. Um, <laughs> we are me, in me, the... Me and Stumpy are sitting here trying not to crack up oh, laughing. Yeah, it, it's difficult. <laughs> right? The peanut gallery needs to chill. <laughs> uh, so... My dad and I were in the very right corner of the Harbor Freight Tool Store here in town. And, (laughs) oh, God. So all of a sudden, I feel a tug on the back of this onesie. And and this onesie, literally, it's got like a hood that shows my face. And then it actually has a tail, like a tailpiece. And there's no way for like the tailpiece to come undone. It's just attached as a tail, right? Right. So I feel this tug and I think, oh, it's the kid. I turn around. It is this old fucking white man probably in his late 60s and what he says is oh my what a cute tail you have there (laughs) oh my god did you get his number (laughs) (laughs) oh shit (sighs) no no fuck no more Um, money well spent (laughs) oh absolutely (laughs) absolutely see I am so glad that we bought you that Pikachu onesie, because we oh. wouldn't have these stories that we have today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, not only do we get the enjoyment at San Japan and everything that follows, Which but... Which, you for sure weren't the only person there going oh, to Pikachu. No. Oh, you no. Weren't. There were people who actually gave a shit about their costumes. <laughs> yeah. I was just like that half-assed uh, dude who probably, like, ended up smoking a joint beforehand and, like, spent money. He's the dollar store Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Discount Pikachu. <laughs> not, not, not the $3 Pikachu. I'm the $1 Pikachu. <laughs>